everybody. I want to give a quick update because I'm cleaning out the biofilter and the solids removal device. So I just want a quick quick update for the system. Uh, as you can tell, the floating beds, the broccoli and cabbage just love this. This there, it's just, you know, this is the, well, this is the worst of the two. I know they're both great, but this bed here, they're just going crazy. I'll let you see the roots under here. Let it focus for a second. Yeah, it's, they really like this floating bed way more than the, in the dirt. Uh, you might hear some thunder in the background. Uh, I worked all day today, Saturday, and I had to get the biofilter done, so it's starting to get dark, so I'm not quite done. But I had a few people wanting to see the inside, so now's the chance. But you might hear some thunder. We're getting some rain again. Yay! Okay. I want to give another tip. Roma tomato, Roma tomato. When I do cuttings, the cuttings just take it. When I just do the cutting and put them in the rug, just they just take like nothing. But they do not like to be transplanted within the first like six weeks. So put when you do since cuttings are so easy to get if you want take two three cuttings put them right next to each other where they're at and after about three weeks take keep the one you want and get rid of the rest that's what i'm going to start doing uh you'll get better results but uh, uh the next update is i'll back up i took the uh this material here off around the fish tank and the barrels and it's not covered over the top uh, just to help warm it up because we're going to start getting cooler temperatures but here's where i got them all out and cleaned them all actually my wife cleaned them today when i was at work so i gotta thank her for that she took them all rinsed them all off here is the biofilter empty now one thing i changed just now is see the pvc ends there you know right here it's about a f open a foot to the bottom it was only about two inches until just now well I just changed it because if you get some big solids that would sometimes the big solids build up to the bottom and break loose come up and get sucked down well in the last few days I've been having a clog at the bottom just because some of the sludge built up two inches from the bottom uh, it's usually not a big deal, but it was below that, so I was actually having to come out here four, five, six times a day, put a little PVC over there and just blow in to open it up, uh, just because I had to work and I did not have a chance to wash the clean these out, so that's why I'm staying up to finish this tonight. But uh, this is the biofilter. There's the drain here. You can see, pretty simple. You know, I'll try to get to the side so you can see it there. You can see I don't get 100% of everything out. Uh, it, I don't think it's that necessary. If I had a cone bottom, I would. I'm thinking about getting some kind of hard plastic material and coning it down to the drain so everything settles over there and then sealing it around the edges. Here's a solids removal device. Uh, I got about two inches of water at the bottom so you can see how it's open about six, eight inches to the bottom. You know, here and here you can see. You know, it's kind of hard to see, I guess. But it's open six inches from the bottom. I'll use this and go up and down so you can see the distance. And that's the size you can see there. So it's about six, eight inches at the bottom. And then like I said, what I do is I just stir this as it's draining and it just kicks everything off. You know, brings everything down into the drain there. But that's pretty much it. Just a real quick update uh, of the system on what it's doing. Everything's working good. They are liking the sweet potato leaves a lot. <laughs> so we're actually going to start growing some here during the winter for the greenhouse. Just because they like the sweet potatoes leaves so much. So that's it. I hope everybody has a great day. Just thought I'd give you a quick update here. I'll show everything one more time. Come back here and leave it at the tank. Any questions, leave them below. Thanks for everybody watching. Thanks for everybody for subscribing. Uh, if you have any questions or you want me to make a video on something in particular, uh, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.